everybody, and welcome back to more Chibi Robo. So, hopefully we'll be able to get more done today than we did last episode, where we spent the whole time in Jenny's room and really didn't do anything except put a box of crayons together. So, at this point, we've bought pretty much everything we need from the shop. We could buy some flower seeds if we wanted, but we got better things to do. I believe these are the last two Utilobots we can build. We can build the bedroom bridge, which goes at the very top of the bedroom, placed on the ceiling beam, which allows us to get the eight Chibi doors up there. And then there's the basement warp, which allows you to warp from the bottom of the stairs to the top of the stairs, which basically speeds stuff up. We rarely even go to the basement, so I'm going to get the bedroom bridge, and then we can get the basement warp at the end. That's the last one. Jiro, we'll put your scrap into the recycle truck. It's a Utoba! I'll set it up somewhere near the master bedroom. Can you put that, like, anywhere? Right now, the Giga battery has about a thousand kilowatts charged. Do you want to charge it? Yeah. At this point, we should put pretty much all of our money towards the Giga battery. One thousand kilowatts equals one thousand moolah. How many kilowatts will you charge? Let's do three thousand. We got enough for that. We'll give it three thousand kilowatts. It's charged 4,000 kilowatts. Nice. We gotta bring Giga Robo back to life at least for a little bit. And boy, does that take a lot of money. That takes 10,000 moolah. That's like a hundred, that's probably like a hundred bucks of real uh, life money. It wouldn't, I don't think it, maybe just ten dollars? I don't know. Ten dollars would probably be what it's actually like. So when they're giving me ten moolah, they're actually giving me like a penny, probably. So yeah, Jenny's here. She's still drawing. That's all she draws now. Is the mom really angry at the dad? That's sad. Oh, all right. <laughs> I don't want to clean up Tao's mess, but these give me more happy points that are quick to pick up, so... Out to the backyard. There's some new stuff we can do here. Actually, there's stuff we could have done here with just the frog suit, but it makes more sense to do with the Tao suit. Okay, good. The dad is not watering the lawn, and that's good. I did not want him to water the lawn. Oh hey! Do they have sliding glass doors to the kitchen as well? Oh yeah, that's the kitchen in there. So in terms of the game lore, there is a sliding glass door in the kitchen, but you can never ever use it. So you may remember last time we went out to the backyard, there was a bird who was asleep that we couldn't do anything with. Well, we can do something with them now. Once you get either the frog suit or the tau suit, you have the ability to talk to the bird and wake it up. You can wake it up either by barking at it with the tau suit or by hopping with the frog suit. For me, it makes way more sense that a bark would wake it up than just a hop. But both actually do work. I'm gonna use the tau suit though. Oh, I'm sliding. It was actually making me slide with this on. So you press Z and. <sighs> Yikes! I overslept, chirp. Whew, look at the time. I almost missed my date. Polly will pet my eyes out if I'm late. Last time she plucked all my feathers. I had goosebumps for a week, chirp. Thanks for waking me up, chirp. You got 13 happy points! Spread the happiness! <laughs> that bluebird smokes a pack a day. I don't know why, but he seemed grateful. Way to go, Chibi Robo! 
You just make people happy without even trying. And you know why? That's because you don't have a Twitter account. So now we're actually on kind of sort of the roof of the house, which is cool. There's also bird poop up here. That's much less cool. I wonder who pooped up here. Surely not the guy we just woke up. Nah, not him. Can spiders spawn on the roof? I never actually thought about that before. I thought there's 300 bucks in this chibi door. That's nice. So this took me an embarrassingly long time to figure out how to do in my first playthrough. What you do is you get up here and climb. And then you shimmy. And yeah, there's a chibi door down there. Hopefully we can hit that on the way out. I kept trying to climb up and do stuff there, and now... It's much easier to just do this. Much easier. And there's a white blo uh, Lego block up here. White block. Yes, the blocks do play a role for a future side quest. Man, it is dirty up here, but I'm not going to expend any more energy cleaning the stains. It's really not worth it. But we get 500 bucks. That's nice. Also, I'm going to check the radar to see if there's anything up here. Sure seems like it. There are free blocks. Again, the happy point blocks, I don't really see any point in getting them. Okay, now. I think there's only hidden things on the ground floor. Not the radar. N not the blaster. I want the copter. Just hover on down. Man, how do they install these chibi doors just hanging out of the wall like this? Thank goodness they have a platform beneath them. Woo-hoo-hoo! Man, we already got like a thousand dollars just from... The equivalent of like ten bucks. No, or probably one dollar. A thousand moolahs, probably like one dollar. Anyhow. Alrighty. So just, there are two more chibi doors. Alright. I think I remember where they both are. And I believe they are both invisible. So the first one should be here. That one's actually reasonably easy to find, because, like, the wooden panel on the wall just stops right there for no apparent reason. I don't think I have enough energy to get the other one. We'll be back in the backyard pretty soon anyways, so... We can get it on a future day. Yeah. As you can see, that's, that's all there is to the backyard. We've essentially explored everything there is to explore in the backyard. I'm not cleaning up the stains anymore. The dad has to learn that he has to clean up the stains now. I can't rely on others. We've only recharged 35 times. I'm actually surprised it's not more than that. Alright, let's go to the kitchen because I believe the dad will be in here today. And he has a new task for us. He can water the lawn all by himself, but he's not very good in the kitchen, so we might need to give him a helping hand. It's Tao! Hey, bro. If you find a dog bone, bring it to me! Okay. I will. Do you still have water in here? I do still have water in here. Cool.
not exactly what I wanted, but all right. No. I want to fill up Tao's dog dish. I did it before. I did it before. What is it? Look at where it's spraying. That's not at all where I'm telling it to spray. That is a really bad hitbox. I don't have a lot of complaints with this game, but that's that's gonna be one of them. Ah, there's the dad. What happens if we talk to him with the tab suit on, or is he not even going to notice? Oh, he's actually at the stove, not at the sink. Oh, hey! That reminds me! Tao's waiting, and he's starving! Oh, by the way! Aren't you an industrious bot, Chibi Robo? I wake up and the place is spotless! I won't be using that toothbrush again, but... <laughs> I, I love talking about how I won't use toothbrushes anymore. It goes against my moral philosophy. Also, if it's spotless, he clearly didn't look in the backyard. Help me, Chibi Robo! Jenny said she's hungry, but I'm hungrier than she is! So, what we need to do is this. Huh? A bun? Meat? Um, uh, a stove? Whatever! Come on, help me cook some burgers! Heck yeah, I love cooking burgers. Yes, that's what I wanted to hear! I can't get near food without burning it. No one wants hamburger briquettes. Let's grill some burgers! <laughs> I love this picture of the dad. <laughs> okay, I'm going to explain the process, so listen carefully. I love the little chef music we get here. First, we need to do some prep work. We get to cook now! It's this cool little cooking minigame where we get to make burgers for people. Also, our corn blends in perfectly. Hey, set those buns on the plates! Chigarello, it's on the plate! Also, I love the dad's apron. It's great. You're getting the hang of this! No, it's not all just this easy. This is just the warm-up round. Get it? <laughs> love the hitbox on that. Way to go, Chibi Robo! There's no way I can do this! That's because you don't have arms, really. Next, we grill the meat! Now he turns the stove on while we, a robot, are on it, but thankfully, because we're made of metal, I guess that's okay. Don't do this at home, kids. Chibi Robo, get your spoon out! Yeah, you need the spoon for this. Use your spoon to flip those patties! So when steam pours off of this, that means one side starts getting cooked. So you've got the, the dad drew in chalk each side of these, so what we we'll want to do is get him to three or four on each side. Cook them until both sides are brown. They'll burn if you grill them too long. Watch the smoke and look for the three. If you get it a little beyond three, it's not a huge deal. Okay, so this patty's done. Mmm, that smells great! So that's on a free. I'm gonna let this kind of side cook twice before flipping it. So this will be at free now. And now I just have to wait for the steam to happen twice. This patty's done. If you put them on when they're raw, or actually I'm not sure if you can put them on if they're raw. So let's side at two. Yeah, that's at two. I know if you put it on, if you cook them too much, then you will, I don't think you'll even get any happy points, or you'll get way less happy points than you would get otherwise. I'm not sure if you can actually put them on the beat, on the patty if it's raw. I'd like to try it just once in my life. Once you set those buns, we're finished! Nobody wants any toppings on them. Wow, that is one fine looking burger! Hope nobody wanted lettuce, tomato, pickle, onion, any of that on. For, for me, the, like, the ultimate burger has like the beef, the bun, lettuce, grilled onions, maybe some bacon, barbecue sauce, or A1 sauce. That's why I love Five Guys. You can get whatever you want on them. Five Guys is my favorite burger joint. And here we go. 
Honey Jenny dinner! I taught the cleaning robot how to cook for us! Oh, where did the lettuce come from? I didn't put that on there. Thanks for waiting, Jenny. Ribbit. Jenny's mom doesn't want any. Ribbit. It's more fun to eat together. That sad look on his face. Oh. I guess we'll give her portion to Tao. He appreciates that. Okay, let's eat. Oh, I forgot Chibi Robo and. We appreciate the thought, but unfortunately we're robots. Yeah, you're right. Okay then, we'll just help ourselves. Don't mind us, please, go ahead. Let's eat! Wait a minute, it's... What, what is it? Oh yeah, Teamish! Oh! You got the cooking sticker! You really are amazing, Chibi Robo! That's the first sticker we get in the game! So as I mentioned, I believe in the first episode, stickers are like your main collectibles in the game. So like, you get one for completing the game, and then you get all the rest for side quests. This is a really short side quest and one of the easiest stickers to get. And Chow gets to eat it too! In order to get the cooking sticker, you need to do the cooking game and do it, like, well. And make it so it doesn't- it's not burned. Dad just gave you 20 happy points! Jenny just gave you 20 happy points. Tao just gave you 20 happy points. And you got 50 bucks. Which is like the equivalent of 5 cents, I think. Spread the happiness. Thanks. And then we ate Jolly Ranchers for dessert. It was great. <laughs> I love that cooking game. That's also one you can do more than once, and you still get happy points every time you do it. I think you get, you get 150 to 200 happy points every time you do it. Oh nuts! I'm in the doghouse, Chibi Robo! What am I gonna do? Well, I mean, you're doing a pretty good job going out and doing the chores, but maybe you should try to find a job. No, not that! See, I was busy cleaning, and I accidentally dropped my wedding ring down the drain! Chibi Robo, you gotta get it back for me! You just gotta! Heck yeah, I'll do that, man. Aw, oh, thanks! You're a lifesaver! That's my Chibi Robo! How will you recognize it? Oh, I know! Our anniversary date is engraved on the inside! Come on, Chibi Robo, I'm counting on you! I forgot about that! Yeah, he loses his wedding ring, we gotta get it back. This is... I, oh, I just realized, this is literally now Stuart Little 2. <laughs> Where they drop the wedding ring, or the mom drops the wedding ring down the drain and they send Stuart Little down to go get it. Well, <laughs> call me a mouse, because we are now Stuart Littling it into the drain! A brand new room! And one that you're probably not going to spend a whole lot of time in, but... <laughs> it's basically like a mini dungeon side scroller kind of thing. There's a plug here, and there's a rat over there as well. And the, as far as I can tell, the rats are the only enemies in the game besides the spiders. Excuse me. <laughs> Out of my way, rat. Yeah, if you hover across the gaps and make it past the rats, you can get a lot of extra money. Which is just fantastic. Man, their drain system is complicated. <laughs> he just he just tripped. It's okay, man. Oh excuse me, that was rude. Oh man, here's the wedding ring. Dad's wedding ring. Oh! It has 200667 engraved on the inside. Uh, that's their wedding date? Oh, so is there... Oh, that, okay. I'm used to it being month, day, year, but it's day, month, year, which actually, which to be honest, that actually makes more sense than the American way of doing it, because it's like starts with the smallest and the like most specific and gets to the least specific. So it starts, it's day, month, year, so it gets more broad as it goes out. So their, their wedding anniversary is June 20th, 1967, supposedly? 1967? Really? 
The house seems pretty modern for that. Well, maybe, all right. Also, something else hitting in the drain. Uh-oh, I'm not going to get killed by rats. The wedding ring's not the only thing hidden in the drain. Yep, you can blow that junk away, and there's a frog ring hidden here. That was the last frog ring I found in the game, believe me. I was like, where is it? I've looked everywhere in the house and I can't find the last frog ring. That's because I didn't think to look in the drain, because I didn't think it could be in the drain. That's a very well hidden frog ring, but I believe now we only have two left to get in the game, and one of them you can't get until the very end, so that's pretty great. This has been the adventures of Stuart Little 2, Chibi Robo in the Well. The well? Not the well. The drain. Chibi Robo in the drain. And we're probably never ever going to go back to the drain again. That is the smallest and least important room in the house, if you can even count it as a room. Oh, and the Great Pico's not in the fish bowl anymore, so we can actually give the cookie crumbs to the fish. The fish will live off of cookie crumbs. Actually, the whole family basically lives off of cookie crumbs and hamburgers, apparently. You got 16 happy points! You got 16 moolah! Spread the happiness! So, I could be mistaken, but I act. I can't remember if you can actually give the dad his wedding ring back yet or not, or if you have to wait till later on in the game. Help me, Chibi Robo! Oh, I'm so full! Yeah, we actually can't give the wedding ring back to the dad yet, which is kind of funny. Like, you just can't, and the reason is that his wedding date actually is an important thing you need to know for later on in the game. And they don't want it to make it like, I forget! I don't remember what his wedding date is, so you can just go back and consult it at any time. Alright, well, we almost have enough scrap left for the last Utilibot. And getting all the Utilibots will net you another sticker. Nope. Tao, I am not dealing with your crud today. Oh my gosh, Tao. Did you just track muddy paw prints next to the entrance to every, like, door in the house? Come on! This dog is... He's the worst. Paw prints are much harder to get rid of than tra tra uh, trash. Tis, tis, you shouldn't be slacking off. Nice suit, Kelly. <laughs> it's a clip-on suit. Oh, but I'm sure there are times when you need to take a breather. Oh! So how about this? Hey, check it out! After I made my snazzy suit, I started practicing how to give autographs. Goodbye. I just gave you 21 happy points. Spread the happiness. I promise you. Yeah, doing that enough gets you another sticker. Once you learn all of Telly's backstory, which takes a good amount of in-game days. Oh, sure enough, here's the Free Ranger who's the Elvis impersonator, as you can see. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Where it is, you got a hot rod! How about a little game of chicken? So this is the car minigame. This is the only reason you even need the car. And you don't even need it. This is completely optional. Whoever stops closest to the end, it wins. Press B to slam on the brakes. This is really hard to get the sticker for. You literally don't have to drive. All of this is automatic until the braking at the end. Go! Alright, so I'm not fairly close to the end, but that's not going to be good enough to get the sticker. You're almost as good as I am! Want to be my sidekick? Vegas just gave you 13 happy points. I love how the Elvis impersonator is private Vegas. Spread the happiness! 
Hmm. Let's see how you did. B. Yeah, you can get up to S rank. How about a little game of chicken? You can do three. You can attempt this minigame three times in a single half day cycle. Why the stops closest to the edge wins? Press B to slam all the brakes. If memory serves, you want to start slamming on the brakes right before you touch the start of the chibi bridge at the end. So I'll let you guys know when I start pressing B. Whoa! It's so precise. B! Too close to the edge! <laughs> that can happen. Rock and roll, man! Burn the candle at both ends! Woo! Take this, you crazy, crazy robot! You got 50 bucks? <laughs> How about a little game of chicken? You literally have to be, like, as close to the edge as possible to get the S rank. Like, three of your tires basically have to be off the edge of one on, on it. Whoever stops close to the edge wins! Alright. This is not how chicken works. Generally, chicken, when you play the cards, is you try to hit, get as close to hitting each other as possible. And this is also how the tire tracks are on the carpet that you occasionally have to clean up. Hold the... NOW! Not good enough. That's probably a B again. Whoa, you were scaring me out there! You're not meant to be messed with, man! Vegas just gave me 20 happy points. Spread the happiness. That's gonna be A rank, but that's still not good enough to get the sticker. Hmm, let's see how you did. A. Excuse me. Give it a rest, man! Come back later! Yeah. We've exhausted our free days. Or our free attempts. Let's go back to the mom's bedroom. Let's see if she, we've, she's finished her outfit. So actually, I think we will not be going back to Jenny's room today. I th there's enough to do in the bedroom. <laughs> that is, unless we get... I have way more time than I think we do. But uh, honestly, because now we can get the uh, eight chibi doors at the top of the room, that might be what we'll end up doing. And there's the mom. Oh, she's still using the sewing equipment. Oh, come on. Okay. Mom, this is entirely on you. How do you even get muddy shoes? These A, these aren't your size shoes. You're the only one who's in here. You have no access to walking in the dirt. Why are you even wearing shoes if you're just locked in the bedroom? I don't understand that the people who like, wear shoes just normally in the house. No way. As soon as I, as soon as I'm not like needing to be outside, I'm not wearing shoes. Hmm. Oh, Chibo! I finished making your PJs. Try them on for me. I want to see how they look. And we get the pajamas. One of my favorite costumes of the game. And they look pretty cute considering they're made out of old underwear. Aw, you are just too cute. When you're tired, make sure you get some sleep. I just remembered a dream I had. You were picking up garbage around the house. Whenever I have that dream, the house seems to sparkle in the morning. Thank you, Chibo. Mom just gave you ten happy points for talking to her, and you got a penny. So these are the pajamas, and why the pajamas are such a good suit in the game is because if you do the pose of them, where you, uh, you will literally fall asleep and it will immediately end the day. You no longer have to wait for the time to run out. So you know, there have been a few times where playing where I've just basically just had to wait out the time. Well, no longer do you have to do that. Now you can just wear the pajamas and go to sleep. And again, the pajamas look different depending on which material you used. I still think they look best when you use the old boxers. But I'm also a dude, and I like the color blue, and I don't particularly like just plain white pajamas, and I don't really like pink pajamas either. I mean, if you, if you like the color pink, then there's nothing wrong with that, but I personally don't really care for the color pink. Funky Phil's there, he's standing still, and Dinah's up there, she's standing still. And as you can see, the bridge is over there. I 
I believe this is the longest bridge you get in the game. This is definitely the longest bridge you get in the game. This is absolutely the longest bridge you get in the game. This is ludicrously the longest bridge you get in the game. By a mile. It's clipping for something that's interesting. Okay, we can't even get all of these doors. Well, I hope we can get these four. After that, I'm going to sleep. Oh, man, we've gotten so much money today. We've also opened a lot of chibi doors. Also, I don't remember each chibi door having that much money inside. I thought they each had, like, a hundred bucks. That was it. Oh my gosh. We're gonna be rich. Yeah, I made a good choice getting the, uh, the bridge instead of the warp. Yeah, there are only two warps in the game. I don't think we're... I don't think we'll even have enough energy left to do the pose to end the day. I'll see if we do. Ah! Your battery is low on energy! I tried to do the pose. Well, I didn't realize that I would be running out of energy that quickly. Well, okay, so we don't even get to show off what happens when you use the pajama pose, because apparently it takes a lot of energy just to go to sleep. Uh, that, that's, that's not how that works, but alright, whatever. <laughs> Darn it, I wanted to show off what the pajamas do. Well, I mean, you'll see what the pajamas really do later on, but... That is dumb. That is dumb that it takes more than that much energy in order to go to sleep. Sleeping is how you get energy! And now we just have to wait it out. This is exactly why having the pajamas is nice, to be able to not have to wait it out. <sighs> Television, you better fly us back to the chibi house when we need to go back to the chibi house. <laughs> that would be very nice. Any minute now. Any minute now. That last sliver, it's a doozy. <laughs> that last sliver of the time meter, it is a doozy. Oh, I forgot she Girl's idle animation consumes energy faster. Oh, there we go, cool. Good! Chibi Robo, we should be getting back to the Chibi House! It's the Chibi House. Great work out there! Your Chibi ranking is still 7. In order to get the next bonus battery, you need 491 more happy points. If you're ever going to become Super Chibi Robo, you'll need some advice, namely mine. If you see a sunshine sticker, I suggest you pop it with your Chibi Blaster. Try using your Chibi Vision as a scope. While you're here, Chibi Robo, would you like to say, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time for more Chibi Robo shenanigans. Let's see, it'll be nighttime. What can we do? We can probably go into the backyard and get the last Chibi door and probably see the Bluebird again. Because the Bluebird, we have to keep back going back to and doing different tasks for him to get another sticker. Uh, we still need to keep our eye out for more of the, uh, free rangers who want to become pirates. That's very important as well. And besides that, eventually we'll have to go back to Jenny's room and finish up the castle puzzle. And the sooner we do that, the better, because there's still quite a bit of side quest in Jenny's room to do after we solve the castle puzzle. And those, that side quest might take several days' time to do in-game, so... Yeah, look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.